Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In the last video, we saw how to download artifacts within the same workflow. In this video, let's see how we can download artifact from another workflow. Previously, we have a build angular.yml where we have both build job and deploy job. Let's say you're, you have uh, two different workflows, one for build and the other for deployment. So what I'm going to do is I'll remove uh, deploy angular from here. I'll cut it and uh, commit the changes. I'll create a new file under workflows. Now this file will take care of deployment. So deploy angular.yml. Let me paste the code here. First, I need a name to my workflow. Name is deploy angular app. Then we have events. Um, I'll just uh, trigger it using dispatch event. Then we have jobs. So we don't need this needs now. Then we have our uh, steps. So in this step, we are using download hyphen artifact uh, action from marketplace. And we are telling that uh, we have to find an artifact called build hyphen artifact. Once we find that, we have to download and extract those files and place it in the artifact folder. But what it is going to do is it's going to search build hyphen artifact in the current workflow run. We cannot find it in a different workflow because now build and deploy are two different workflows. This has to identify the build workflow and download this artifact from the build workflow. In order to do that, we have to provide a run ID. So this run ID is going to be the unique ID assigned by GitHub Actions for each and every workflow run. So let me keep this changes like that and open build angular in a separate tab. Let me add a manual run as well so that we can trigger it from the UI. Workflow underscore dispatch colon. Commit changes. Now we should see a build workflow running. This will generate artifacts and upload it to the summary tab of this workflow. Now, when I say work, workflow run ID, this is the run ID. So this will be unique to each and every workflow run. So we have to provide this run ID here. So what it will do is it will uh, look at this run ID in the current repository and find the workflow with this run ID, then find the artifact of this workflow with build hyphen artifact name, and then put the files in artifact folder. So let's say if this is completed, yes, this is completed and we can see the artifact uploaded. Now let's go back and commit the changes of our deploy workflow. So ideally you will have a mechanism which uh, will trigger the deploy workflow as soon as the build workflow is completed if they are in a in two different uh, uh, workflows. So now I have a manual trigger. Let me run it manually. So we see an error here, unable to download artifacts, artifact not found. So the reason for this is when we want to download artifact from another workflow, we have to provide a GitHub token. So let me go back to deploy hyphen angular and add a, another property called GitHub hyphen token. If you look at the action in marketplace, if you go to uh, download artifact from other workflow runs or repositories, we see that we have artifact name, GitHub token, repository and run ID. So let's try to add these two properties. I'll add GitHub hyphen token. Because we are trying to access uh, a workflow artifact in the same repository, we can use the default token provided by GitHub, which is available in the GitHub dot token variable. 
then we have to add a repository name uh, by default it will take the current repository name but uh, it's good to provide it so github dot repository um, variable will give us the current repository repository okay now after adding these variables let me commit the changes go to our uh, actions trigger it manually now we see another workflow run triggered let me open this job now the artifacts are downloaded so it is downloading the artifact with name build hyphen artifact it's redirected to the url which uh, uh, which is uh, responsible for downloading the artifact and finally it has downloaded one artifact and if you look at the file structure also you will see the files are successfully downloaded so this is how you can download artifacts from other workflow runs and also from other repositories so if you want to download from other repositories what you can do is in the repository field instead of giving dot dollar github dot uh, repository you should give the account name i mean repository owner name and also the repository name uh, let's say this is our repository name so it would look uh, something like this so your repository might be a demo repository so you have to mention the repository and you have to pass the correct run id i hope the concept is clear if you like the content please like share and subscribe to interview pro thank you